Musician. I live in Brisbane, Australia, and uh, I, um, I started off very young playing the violin. Uh, my grandfather taught me, his father had taught him, and uh, so we have some German heritage, and I became very interested in Turkish music, and Egyptian music, and Iraqi music, and then Persian music. in Persian music when Ostad Zolfanun came to Brisbane. I, at that stage I was very interested in uh, Sufi music from Turkey and also Egypt and what I discovered was a whole new world of Sufi music that uh, Ostad Zolfanun and his ensemble introduced me to um, and um, I, I really I really really became very interested in it and he invited me to Iran um, and offered to um, to help me with um, finding some teachers, and so it was a, it was very much a, a slow interest beginning in in Middle Eastern music, and then suddenly the doors opened to me to to really get very interested in Persian music. Stops. It's just too much for my poor little computer. Windows player not responding. So this is a lesson I had with Ostad Samimi in Karaj. Violin one. Yes. But. That's absolutely correct. And then the second dovo is more like. No. Imagine that you can put the hand on the second dovo. You can put the hand on the second dovo. Okay. Like that. Tahriban. But it's on. I'm now on the second dovo. It's a bit harder. On the strings and this instrument is probably a bit more difficult. Um, when I went to Iran, I had some lessons with Ostad Samimi, and recently I went to California and I had some lessons um, on violin. And I um, I've been encouraged from those teachers to to really look at the work of Ostad Saba, who developed the Radif system for violin. And, um, and so now I've changed my focus from learning about the melodies and the, and the rhythms to really learning about the, the system of the Daskas and the Gushas and the Avas. And I've, just, I've really just only started my, my journey into that very, very deep and extensive study interesting crossover piece uh, it's played I learned it from an Iraqi my Iraqi music teacher but it's also popular in Iran as a song <laughs> Well, 
Well, I am currently uh, going through Ostad Saba's uh, book for violin, and it's, a, it's an introduction to the Duskers. And it's actually the first time I've played Persian music on the violin. For me, playing the, um, the microtones are my favourite part of the music. When I first started playing modal music, um, I found it very difficult because as a violinist you're taught to play in tune and to the western ear these notes are out of tune. So what I did was I just listened to just Persian music or just Turkish music or just Arabic music. So if, if, for example, I have a Persian concert, I only listen to Persian music because that's how you get the sound of the notes in your head. And once the note and the sound is in your head, you can re reproduce it with your finger. Okay, sing that part again. to do with Persian music is not to modernize it. I think there's a lot of Iranians who like to modernize Persian music. They like to play um, traditional songs on the piano, um, for example, or the guitar, which obviously can't represent the microtones. Um, and there are a lot of people doing this and um, the ornamentation that's so beautiful, like the tahrir and the cha cha, is, is also getting lost. So. For me, I don't, I don't feel the need to introduce them or modernize or fuse Persian music. I think there's enough people doing that. What I want to do is almost preserve the ancient music, the, the, the songs composed by Meragi in the, I think, the 10th century, and also um, explore the Sufi music a little bit more, because I think um, Sufi music which is not the music of the courts, it's not the music of the Shah's palace, it's the music of the Hanega. And it's, it's a little bit more accessible to perhaps a Western audience because it's repetitive and it's very rhythmic. <laughs> shame that women aren't, aren't permitted to perform live in, in Iran. Uh, I went to one concert with Ostad Zofnun in Karaj in 2011 and I, um, I was quite, uh, quite excited because before the concert I heard a woman singing and she sounded amazing. And I was very excited because I thought maybe I will get to hear a woman singing. This is a this is a public concert, but I don't know. Maybe maybe we'll be lucky. And sure enough, we were very lucky. This woman sang solo, and she did it very cleverly. She sang, and the guy beside her lip synced, which means he just opened his mouth, but you couldn't hear his voice. And so if it was being recorded, you know, on a camera, it would look like they were singing a duet. 
but no, it was a, it was a solo and uh, I got to hear her beautifully. And um, it was funny, after the concert, we actually sat in the office of the Ershad and uh, we talked to him very politely and had a cup of tea and, and we asked him what did he think of the concert. And his favourite piece was a piano piece and of course it had nothing to do with traditional Persian music. It wasn't even written by an Iranian and um, it was ironic that he's the Ershad of Persian culture. He's, he's supposed to be upholding Persian culture and his favourite song wasn't even an Iranian song and he was supporting this piano player who wasn't even playing a traditional Iranian instrument. And, um, but nevertheless, he was a good guy. He, 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 didn't, he didn't shut the concert down. And I play in a world fusion band, Mzaza, and we are very, very much um, interested in fusing aspects of Balkan, French, and some Turkish music. And um, the original songs that the band puts together are, are very much based on a traditional, say, a Greek rhythm or a Balkan rhythm or a Balkan scale, but. Um, they're very much also original and um, they fuse a lot of different influences together. studied uh, Turkish and Iraqi music in, at, a, at a school in Greece in um, about 2007 and 2008, I, um, I met an Iraqi teacher who played traditional Iraqi music and one of my highlights of, um, of my musical career was to, to bring him to Australia and introduce him to all of my friends who play music here. And, um, what I'd like to do in the future is, is to bring some Persian musicians here and um, do the same thing, invite musicians from Iran to, uh, to come and share their music with my, 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 my friends and musician friends in, in Brisbane. <laughs>